Welcome back to the Bruin Event Center here on the campus of the University of California at Irvine as we welcome the two main event fighters this afternoon for the IBF World Super Middleweight Championship. The champion, Darren Van Horn, the schoolboy out of Lexington, Kentucky, and the man that will try to take the champion away from him is John Jarvis out of Richmond, Virginia. Sam Smith along with Michael Marley back here at Irvine, California, and the music in the background. Mac Jack and the heart attacks as they bring them on. And again, John Jarvis has not fought last summer. 34 years of age, 25 and 2 record. Gets into the ring with a golden opportunity, Michael, to have to go against Darren Van Horn, but it may be an unenviable chore this afternoon. Well, you mentioned uh, Jarvis's age. It's an age-old question. Nobody seems to really know, save for John Jarvis and maybe his parents, how old he really is. There are some people that claim that the challenger, John Jarvis, may be. George Foreman's age, about 41, even 42 years old. But I asked John about it. He says uh, it's the real deal. He's 32-ish. But uh, he's fighting uh, a real schoolboy. And, and, and Darren Van Horn, the nickname fits because he's winding up his studies, Sam, at the University of Kentucky. And he's trying to get our jobs. He's a uh, broadcasting student down in Lexington, Kentucky. Well, referee Lou Moret talking to John Jarvis about a problem in the ring in one of the far corners is in the far corner of this arena, the champion, Darren Van Horn, the schoolboy. And yes, does look like the kid next door gets ready to make his appearance into the ring. Van Horn, 22, 5'11", 168. An incredible, incredible 46 and 2 record for the age of 22. And, uh... Behind the ladies reading, leading Van Horn into the ring is his dad, who's also his trainer, and that's G.L. Van Horn, one of the more colorful figures in the American boxing scene. He didn't go to the University of Kentucky. Uh, Pop Van Horn's alma mater is San Quentin Prison out here in California. Different type of schooling, yes. Sam. And a few hard knocks along the way in the latter one, so to speak. Darren Van Horn again, he gets ready to try to defend his title, a newly found title that they have obviously lost earlier. Can he do it to defend the belt? Let's meet him. Jimmy Lennon Jr. is our ring announcer. Let's go upstairs for the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen in attendance and sports fans joining us around the world, we welcome you as LBNT Pro Sports and Cedric Kushner Productions presents the main event of the evening, the IBF Super Middleweight Championship. This bout is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation President Robert W. Lee, the Supervisor Jimmy Rondo, along with the California State Athletic Chairman Ara Harabedian and the Assistant Chief Athletic Director at ringside Rob Lynch. Presenting the officials as appointed. Positions at ringside Dr. Michael DeLuca, Dr. Mario Ficarola. Timekeepers of the knockdown we have Aaron Koslo. Judging at ringside Fritz Werner, Dave Nelson, Frank Rustich, and the referee in charge of this, our main event, is Lou Moret. All right, fans, here we go. This is it, the main event of the evening, the IBF Super Middleweight Championship of the World, scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my left, the challenger fighting out of the red corner. He enters the ring wearing solid black trunks, and fighting out of Richmond, Virginia. His weight is at 168 pounds with a record of 25 victories. Only two defeats. He has 19 wins by way of knockout. He is ranked the number one super middleweight contender in the world by the IBF. Introducing John Jarvis. And his opponent across the ring. On my right, fighting out of the blue corner, he is the defending champion. He is wearing white trunks with blue trim and hailing from Lexington, Kentucky. His weight is at 168 pounds. His outstanding record, 46 wins, only two losses, 26 wins by way of knockout, and he is the IBF Super Middleweight Champion of the World, known as Schoolboy, Darren Van Horn. Once again, here's your referee in charge, Lou Moret. 
Well, as the belt is being hoisted above the ring that both will be going after, Van Horn owns it now. Quick instructions from Lou Moret. They have been given their instructions in the dressing room and we get ready to go. As again, Darren Van Horn, 22 years of age against the ageless one, John Jarvis, uh, listed at 34 or somewhere thereabouts. Gets ready to see if he can take that title away. He actually holds the IBF Intercontinental title, which he successfully defended in his last fight against Sugar Boy Malinga out in Barranquilla, Colombia last summer, a trip that I had the pleasure of making and uh, watching John Jarvis work against Malinga, who really never got off against Jarvis. And he made it back from Columbia, we so made we're it back. suitably impressed. But he mentioned the Malinga fight. That was a major victory for John Jarvis. But in looking at Jarvis's uh, record, not only is his age uh, in question, Sam, but after being knocked out by Darnell Knox and Buster Drayton, uh, both in six rounds back to back, he then was out of the ring for three years, so there's got to be some rustiness. He's only had four fights uh, in his comeback, won them all, and now he's in a title bout. So it's a golden opportunity for John Jarvis. Of course, the two losses by Darren Van Horn have come at the hand of Giafranco Rossi. They're both coming to Rossi. Wants to lose the title by Van Horn that he had just captured. The second time trying to regain the title, which he failed again in two tough 12-round fights. That second fight uh, has to go into the Boxing Hall of Shame, one of the uh, roughest, dirtiest, and worst, most boring fights of all time. But their two styles, Rossi and Van Horn, just don't mesh. They don't make for an entertaining fight. However, I think Jarvis and Van Horn will make for an entertaining fight. Now, Jarvis is a fighter, and we saw this against Sugar Boy Malinga, that will use that left jab, even though he gets cut with a pretty good combination that time by Van Horn. But he relies on the jab to keep the fighters off of him, and that's what Van Horn must work through here this afternoon. Well, don't forget, John Jarvis, well-schooled. Uh, it looks like uh, Van Horn may be getting to him quickly. Yes, indeed. That right combination has Jarvis wobbling for a moment. John wisely clinches up on the champion. You see the UK on Van Horn's uh, white and blue trunks. Uh, not for United Kingdom, Sam. University of Kentucky. And uh, then his fraternity... Uh, letters also on the trunks he of course a young man that quite obviously has made a lot of fans over in the europe area and of course in the uk and has had a great opportunity to show his wares at only 22 years of age i think that's the most marvelous part about him he turned pro at 16 on his first title at the age of 20 and now holds the title at 22 and does not look like he's going to be a man that will be stepping down in the ring for many years to come we talk about the uh difference in age and experience when Darren Van Horn was nine years old, John Jarvis was having his first professional fight in Virginia. How many years ago was that for John Jarvis, or what age was John Jarvis? That still well, is the underlying question. He's got a 15-year-old daughter. <laughs> Closing seconds of round number one. They're set for 12 with Van Horn. Clearly has been able to find some combinations and is measuring Jarvis very well as we near the end of the first round of this scheduled 12 round championship fight in Irvine, California. I, I will go on your count, yeah. Now, now, now I got you, yeah. Sam Smith along with Michael Marley as we greet you back in Irvine, California in the U.S. of A, a suburb of Los Angeles, California, and a good look at John Jarvis from Richmond, Second Virginia. Show. And the champion, Darren Van Horn. And this is our main event of fighting here in Irvine, California at the Brim Event Center on the campus of the University of California at Irvine. Solid first run, Michael, for Darren Van Horn. You have to feel that John Jarvis got off that stool knowing he must defend better than he did in round one. Well, Van Horn's got the big edge in power, and uh, he's on a roll having uh, won his second world title. This is the home of the UC Irvine Anteaters, as they call the uh, college sports teams here. And uh, I think uh, Van Horn's an anteater who can uh, eat up Jarvis pretty much when he wants to. You see, he's hooking that left hand almost with regularity here, and what that does, it gets Jarvis leaning to his left, and then comes the right hand, and that's where Darren Van Horn landed very well in round number one. 
You're right, Sam. Uh, Van Horn landed two, three good left hooks. Uh, uh, don't forget, Darren Van Horn schooled by his dad. One thing about Darren Van Horn, he's had more, we call him the schoolboy, and he is a college student uh, winding up uh, his degree at Kentucky. He's had a slew of trainers. I mean, he has had uh, five or six different trainers, including his dad. So he's learned a lot of boxing at a young age. You know, we made the comment yesterday, we spoke to him at the weigh-in, comfort seemed to be the one word I heard coming out. He's comfortable in Lexington this home, he's comfortable with his dad, and right now he must feel very comfortable in round two against Jarvis as he hits him with another good solid right hand. Credit John Jarvis, he has come back well. Well, Darren says, uh, relating to the uh, father-son uh, problem, and it has been a problem in uh, times past, he says, now there's a separation between their father-son relationship and the boxer-trainer relationship, and uh, uh, father and son getting along very well, according to both Darren and his dad, Gio. Jarvis is trying to lure Van Horn in. Van Horn uh, actually obliging here as he'll step right in and throw the combination. Jarvis is going to have to rely on some good counter punches this afternoon. Van Horn will be right there, right in front of him all afternoon. Van Horn a little off balance and throwing one of the punches. Little extra impetus uh, to look uh, smashing here today for Van Horn. He's uh, trying to lure Thomas Hearns possibly into a fight uh, at uh, light heavyweight. And uh, though he's a 168 pound champ right now, Darren Van Horn thinks he, he might have a future as a light heavyweight. Van Horn again captured the victory in the junior middleweight of the IBF in February, defeating Robert Hines back in 1989. Promptly lost it to Gio Franco Rocky. Rossi in Atlantic City, that in 1989 and 12 tough rounds. Now to regain it against Rossi, and as Michael pointed out, a very disappointing fight for him when he lost it again over in Italy. Then came back to win the title, and he did that by defeating Lugar Holmes, and now he's making a title defense against John Jarvis here. Good body shot, ripping body shot, a right hand to the midsection by Derek Van Horn. Jarvis countered pretty well with a good left side combination, and that's one of the things they say about Van Horn. He takes a lot of punches, he gets some punches, and Jarvis is landing a few, but is there enough here as we near the end of round number two? Well, the second round is in the books. We get ready for the third after this. Well, the fight here in Irvine, California is going just about as expected as this man, Darren Van Horn, the young 22-year-old champion at Lexington, Kentucky, is doing Michael Marley just about what he wants against John Jarvis. And this will give you a good indication as we have action from round two. And there's that good left hand that he's continuing to throw and is following it with a right even though he didn't at that time. The end of that round though, Sam, uh, Jarvis landed his best punch, a nice right hand. So Jarvis showing some signs of life, although I gave the first two rounds my unofficial scorecard, slight edge to Darren Van Horn. The IBF World Super Middleweight Championship hangs in the balance. Van Horn in the white, John Jarvis in the black. Van Horn the aggressor so far, but look at Jarvis comes back, throws the combination and then runs away from it. Both a little wild, Sam. You know, I mentioned uh, Thomas Hearns is a possible big money future opponent for Darren Van Horn. Another big name who might be on the horizon for Van Horn should he keep winning. Michael Nunn, the former IBF middleweight champ, upset, knocked out by James Lights Out Tony. Nunn now moving up to this weight, 168 pounds. By the way, in the win by Darren Van Horn to win over Lindell Holmes when he finally put him away in the 11th, we saw a little different Van Horn, a little bit more patient, did we not, Michael? Well, he... Oh, 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 That's good night. We cannot get up on this one. The referee, Lou Moretti, saying no as Jarvis gamely tried to get up. But Darren Van Horn, with one punch, has turned it around and defended his title in the third round. That was some shot. Well, Darren Van Horn wanted to have a smashing performance. He certainly did. My, my, Lightning what a striking. shot. striking. So it's Van Horn, who had had two solid rounds, number one and two. 
and then just unleashed an attack with one punch on John Jarvis and the fight is over here in Irvine, California. And again, congratulations. Let's look across the way here. Let's watch this punch one more time. Right there, right over the top. Big right hand by Van Horn. Beautiful counter punch by Van Horn. That's the end of the fight. So as Van Horn comes up with his 27 knockout and his 47th victory, the schoolboy teaching a lesson or two today to the Angels one, John Jarvis, in this fight. And you can hear the crowd in the background as they serve him applauding a very young and very talented world champion here and as michael has pointed out yes there are some big money fights down the road for darren van horn as he has fought here this afternoon a well away from his hometown of lexington he used it with style in the fight that he won against lindale holmes to win this title he changed a bit he was very disciplined in the fight had a little bit more movement that time and waited with patience until Holmes started to slow down in the late rounds and finally put him away in the 11th. Here it did not take anywhere near that long, even though he wore down a bit John Jarvis in the first two rounds. The end came suddenly here in the third round with a looping over the top right hand. Let's get the time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. One minute, 11 seconds in round number three. The winner by way of knockout and still the IBF super middleweight champion of the world, schoolboy Darren Van Horn. Well, a game effort by John Jarvis, but you can Supervisor of the IBF, Jimmy Twitter. Rondo, presenting the Not belt to the victor Cedric here Kushner, tonight. The world champion Along of the super Jim middleweight Boudreaux. division, Darren Rondo, Van excuse Horn. Me, the gentleman who's the supervisor from the IBF, and they put the belt back on again, this time for the second time, as Van Horn successfully defends his title. For Ladies the and gentlemen, have it a hand for a fine try and a good sport. Give it his all here tonight with a big heart, John Jarvis. Michael Marley has the champion, Darren Van Horn. Let's get a couple of words from the champ. Darren, your first title defense, your second world title, 168 pounds. You wanted to have a smashing performance. Uh, how do you think you look? Um, right at first, I felt real, real tight. I, I didn't feel smooth at all when I was moving around. All throughout the first and second round, I just kept trying to tell myself, get in the groove, get in the groove, because he, he to me, looked like he was a little scared, but he, he was quick on his feet. He threw a lot of jabs to keep me off balance and keep me thinking about his jab. You were a little wild, a little sloppy, as you said, in the beginning. Did you just see that opening at the time of the knockout, or had you seen it earlier and waiting to drop in the countering right? Well, when I'm in a fight and it's hard for me to get into it, I just start mixing it up, and I like to get hit. Um, when, when I throw right hands and connect with him real good, he normally gets a little hot and starts getting at me, and then I start getting in it. Once I start getting hit, hitting him, and we start mixing it up, then I get into the fight, and that's what I was hoping to do. And, I, and after I clipped him with the right hand, it was over with. Okay, you've said that 168, you feel, is your natural weight. You strained to make 154. You had been the least. To say the least. Now, Darren, tell me, are you going to stay at 168? I hear names like Michael Nunn, Thomas Hearns. What do you see in the future for Darren Van Horn? Well, um, I thought when I moved up to this weight, jumping up two divisions to super middleweight, I thought I was going to be here forever. I thought I was going to be a real small super middleweight, and I couldn't be farther from the truth. Um, right, right in the middle of training camp, when, when I'm in good shape, I was weighing 180 pounds. I had to lose 12 pounds just to come to this weight. Um, I think maybe if I keep growing, I'm only 22, that uh, I might go to light heavyweight. Heavyweight and cruiserweight, I think, is a little out of my range right now. Do those two names, they're still big names in boxing, Thomas Hearns and Michael Nunn, do those guys interest you? Oh, sure. Um, Michael Nunn is a, is a very, very good fighter. A lot of people don't give him credit because of the way he fights and his style, but, you know, there, there's a reason why he wins. Uh, Thomas Hearns, you know, I don't need to say anything about him. Okay, well, you, you're, you're the Collegian University of Kentucky, and you took John Jarvis to school. Congratulations. Darren Van Horn, now back to Sam Smith at ringside. Thank you, Michael Marley, and congratulations to Darren Van Horn again with his father, G.L. Van Horn, who is the trainer 
And he has to be happy here. And again, it did not look like this punch had been set up that well. And Jarvis walked right into the right hand. And Van Horn, with his 27th knockout, thus retains his title and his 47th win against only two losses. And the sky is certainly the limit for this 22-year-old champion from Lexington, Kentucky, the schoolboy Darren Van Horn. For the ageless one, John Jarvis, again 34-plus, is at the end of the road. Well, he's a journeyman. He's been there. He's 25-3 and three now. Still can be a fighter to be contended with, but not today as Van Horn puts him down with the one hand. So Van Horn retains his super middleweight champion for the IBF Championship of the World here in Irvine, California. He's done a miraculous job in getting himself to this point now with his 49th fight and again has successfully defended his title, this time for the first time and against some other big names in this division or in others may be waiting for Darren Van Horn. It has been a day for us to enjoy Darren Van Horn's antics and we know we'll see him somewhere along the way. Michael Marley, Sam Smith at ringside here from the University of California at Irvine, California. Uh, close for uh, in that now or? Gotcha. Gotcha. Good job. <laughs> 